Alright, hello folks, this is Beanarm. I'm gonna try out this deck I've been playing with. Uh, it's a little bit odd. It's not expected to win, but it's pretty fun in general. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me just start off by saying that if a particular deck does not have item destruction, this may be difficult for them to handle. The Moonstalker mill deck. Let's see what happens here. It's going to be interesting. I assume this is a mill deck with summoning cards. Or it's not Moonstalker either. It's Dark Claw. My bad. Alright, I should make mental note that I only have one left in there. I think I burnt both of my KP's last game. Go ahead, get rid of one of those weapons. Throw this guy out there as bait. See what happens. Perhaps there's a now you're mine in store. I don't know. We'll see. Will he opt to save it for one round and put out some big teeth? Who knows? It's a joy of playing against players. Oh, a captured prey on an Aldar. That's that's a little bit. I don't even know how to say it. I don't know what to say. Uh, this is pretty shitty for me right here. Kind of have to and just. Leave it at that, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. Could use some type of draw right now, that would be nice. Um, I got four cards that I don't want to get rid of. I really hate sacrificing more of these. Alright, I don't want to drop my AR because I do want to do a, a tidal wave. I want to drop a tidal wave to get Morn Blade. Something, but I wouldn't mind. Uh, I wouldn't mind throwing something down there to drop up some hit points here. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to sacrifice this armor. Ah, that's only if I'm going to play the Aeon, which I'm not. So I can, uh, but I'm going to be eating that damage. That's all right. So I'm going to eat some damage here. That's what's happening. I'm willing to get rid of that bad Santa. Hopefully, uh, you know, they just focus Zayna right now. Don't put any attack on the Morning Blade. Morning Blade. <laughs> exactly what I was looking for. So instead of the bad Santa taking a ride, 
what I'm going to do here is go ahead and play it like this. Now I have that, which is actually a threat. And I'm going to hit him with it so he knows just how much of a threat it is. And that was the strategy executed. That's how that was planned, to be honest. Well, it would be optimal is if I had an earthen protector right now to go along behind this Aeon. But I don't. He just used a speed strike and a jeweler's dream. He wants to kill this weapon off of me, which is not a bad idea. Alright, so there's the Earthen Protector. Um, could we go ahead and wait to sack up? No, I really should. I should just go ahead and sack that. I'm not going to. I'm going to skip it. Oh, that's beautiful. Won't take any durability damage from that shit while defending. I didn't know this. At least, maybe I've been saying. Maybe I didn't see that properly, but I still saw three charges on it when I looked. There's a captured prey. It's alright because he still can't attack allies behind it. Which I'm going to drop. That's not alright though, because he keeps whacking me hard with that weapon. down but not out yet I'm not entirely sure what that selfishness card does but Alright, so I have a bunch of allies on the deck here, on the floor. Doesn't seem to be much he could do about this at this particular moment in time. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and feed him a good beating here. And that's probably the end of that. I believe that was total annihilation. This deck that I did not expect to win, 
seems to have pulled through for me. Throw out the good game, hope it gets there soon. So I can finish this. There it is. Give me about three seconds to get it. Alright. Game over. That was fun. Well, I plan on trying this deck again. So if you guys want to watch another one, I'll probably have another one up soon.